Okay folks, so I'm back here fixing my power steering box again because the seal for the steering input shaft is leaking and the seal sits around here and this is the housing where it goes through the back here and comes out the front and in the front of this housing there is a seal, twin lip seal and that's pushed in there and that keeps all the hydraulic fluid from leaking out in these twin lip seals you can adjust the amount of force that the seal in the center here pushes in onto that shaft and that is done by there's a spring around the back there that runs all the way around and what you can do is flip that spring out carefully like that and that spring has a certain amount of tension on it will compress onto the um, shaft there to keep all the oil in and the seal on these little springs continuous circle spring there is a join in here if I can get the camera to focus there there is a join about here so the join join in the spring is right about there very hard to see on this camera there you go so what you do is to adjust it you can make the spring the overall diameter less or shorten it and then pre-connect pre, um, it and I'll show you what I mean by connecting it the join there so what you do is you hold on here and you're going to rotate that around that way and you're going to twist to undo it like a bolt I can get it to go there we go so I've just untwisted it and that's like undoing a bolt so um, that way so yeah undoing it and the two ends look something like that the bottom one has got a slight point on it and that will actually thread itself into the top part of the spring in the, in the frame you see there so what we're going to do is shorten this and you want to actually trim not the pointy end which is the lower one in my hand you want to trim the top one if you trim the pointy one down the bottom you won't be able to spin it back into the top one here so we're going to trim with the side cutters a little bit of material off here so I've already trimmed a little bit off using some side cutters and that is how much I've trimmed off there that is three millimeters in length and that has been chopped off the end there with side cutters but I'm just going to take off just a couple more little couple more little millimeters and you just use these side cutters like these guys here and you just come in just come focus right there and then we'll take off another two millimeters there I'm just gonna focus it's not gonna focus anyway and you trim this off the non point end so we'll see if we can find that laying on the bench right found it so that's what I've trimmed off there about a total of four millimeters in total length and the seal in a diameter is about 22 millimeters so we've now trimmed that to a shorter length and what we're going to do is spin it back together so what you want to do is go anti-clockwise twist it's anti-clockwise Yep, I think so. And then we're going to twist it together like a nut and a bolt. I can see with my tired old eyes. There we go. And that is now back together like that. So I'm just going to have a close look at that underneath a little monocle just to make sure I haven't got any sharp hairy bits. So I'm happy with that. That's the new spring diameter. And if we compare it to one of the old ones, so as I was saying, if we compare it to the original spring size, the original spring size is the one behind, 
and the new one is the one on the front you can see it's slightly smaller diameter which will give me more compression on the seal on the shaft when I reassemble it which in theory will stop any leaking so we'll put the seal back in now sorry spring back in so as I was saying you put this back into your seal set it underneath the lip on the outside there just run it round and up over the top there we go and that snaps in there nicely so if I let that rest for 10 minutes or so I'll come back and measure just very carefully with the verniers the inside diameter in here compared to a standard one and we should see a slight compression increase okay so I've just measured the trimmed spring length spring trimmed spring one the diameter in here is about 0.3 millimeters smaller than the diameter clips here so it has given me an improvement and when we have that on the shaft now if you're sticking your verniers in here with these teflon rings be really careful because if you um, drive your points of the verniers calipers out onto the edges here too hard you'll actually bend the teflon or the hard plastic seal and they'll leak so if you insert that on there find the running groove just get up there that feels firmer than the other one so there we go that's how you adjust your seals to give more compression onto the shaft so i'm going to put this back together and hopefully we won't continue to leak hydraulic fluid out of the old power steering box anyway i managed to get through 10 minutes of that good luck thanks for watching see ya